Hey guys, uh, internet. Today we're going to learn how to make an eccentric spacer. What an eccentric spacer is, if I can just zoom in here, you can see that it's offset. What that means is when I spin it, see how it's off? When I spin it a certain way, the distance between here and here is different. All right? So it'll either snug up or loosen on maker slide. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. So here's our maker slide, right? And there we go. So what happens is when I spin this, this will either loosen or tighten because I'm changing the center of the wheel when I spin this. Okay. It's really good if you're, you know, it, it's just really good to have. So we're going to walk through on how to make these. And uh, pardon for the horrible camera skills. Uh, I have none. I'm not a photographer. I'm not a movie maker. I'm just a maker. So this is a small piece of aluminum I've already prepared. Okay. We're going to go ahead and chuck this up in the lathe. And we are going to put a four millimeter hole through this, right through the exact center. And I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, so here we're at the lathe. We have uh, everything kind of set up. I've got the piece of stock centered in there, as you should. This is a four millimeter screw, or uh, I'm sorry, drill. Now, let me preface this by saying I'm not an engineer. Not a professional machinist. Um, I'm just kind of a guy. Let's just make sure that we have center, and we do. So what we're going to do is basically drill a nice, easy hole into our stock. Uh, remember, safety, safety glasses, safety everything. Cutting fluid. And we'll go ahead and we'll turn on our weight. And we're going to put a nice, easy hole. Into our stuff. Remember, you can never have too much cutting fluid. In my case, WD-40. It's important to always back it out. And that's it. So now we have a four millimeter hole into our uh, stock and I'll tell you why that's important in just a second Okay, so here's what we need to do and this is kind of what the eccentric bolt uh, Eccentric spacer looks like all right, so imagine This is the underside of the bolt and we're going to do this with a regular 5 16th uh, bolt There we go And what we want to do is we are going to drill a hole that's going to be off center Okay, and uh, to do that, we basically need to figure out where the, you know, what the center is of the bolt. And what we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole that's big enough for this to thread into, because we're going to end up drilling a hole into this, threading it. This will get screwed in, but the center that we're going to be drilling through is going to not be the center of the bolt. It's going to be off. So if you kind of hold it up to a nut, we're going to have it to where it's thicker on one side than the other. Okay, now I could sit down and measure it out and um, graph it and all that good stuff and make it look real pretty. Not going to do that. Um, really, all I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up. I'm going to gauge the thickness of the side. And that looks about right. I'm going to 
kind of look at it and my center is going to be just off of the uh, off of the original hole the pilot hole that I made so I will drill through that on the drill press so let's go ahead and get that set up but I want you to understand like this would be center this would be a perfect one but to make it eccentric it has to be uh, off center okay okay so we're all set up on the drill press now make sure that you always secure your vise uh, as you can see I already started drilling okay you can kind of see how it's off center like that it's catching just enough on one side to leave a little bit of room for the drill but it's taken enough out of the other side <clears throat> so uh, it'll be off center so I have some adjustment room. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, not going to film while I'm doing that because I do need both hands for this. So I'll show you the finished product in just a second. Okay, so bonus, we're all done here. And uh, the part is starting to cool down finally. But now you can see I have a very nice off-center hole, which is off-center from the center that I've drilled with the 4 millimeter. Right. So the next step now is to go ahead and tap this so I can get my 5 sixteenths bolt in there and screw it in nice and tightly. So that takes about 20 minutes to a half hour to go ahead and tap one of these things. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with the video, so I will show you the finished product in a minute. All right. So. Here we go, finished product, one die. What this does here, screw in here, just like that. It will go all the way down. And let me just go ahead and get that in there real nice. Now I did already clean it out and um, Blow it out and everything. So the idea is when I chalk this back up, I'm going to drill a hole completely off center of this, in, and it should leave enough thread, enough room on there to uh, re thread it with a five millimeter or an M5 tap and go from there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tighten that the rest of the way down with a wrench. Um, and then chalk it up into the lathe. And we will try to drill a hole through it and we'll see how it turns out. So good or bad, pass or fail, you guys will be experiencing it the same way I have. Now, like I said, I don't do measurements. I just kind of I go off common sense. So we'll see if this pays off. Most people probably won't do it my way. Okay, so we're all set up. We're ready to go, ready to drill. Uh, I got my metal cutting drill in there. Make sure you get the right drill. Don't just get like some piece of crap from like, I don't know, Harbor Freight or something. Get a, get a, invest in nice drills, okay? They, they will pay themselves over and over. That's my little tip to you. The other two tips, lubrication, 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 and eyewear. Eye protection. And we're through. Right. Not to let that cool off, but as you can kind of see. Looking good so far. That's what we wanted. Nice offset uh, screw or hole in our bolt. All right. So in the end, now I didn't go all the way through. I just got, you can kind of see the dimple right there, just about all the way through. Doesn't matter. We're going to cut that off anyways. Um, so all I have left to do now is 
cut this down a little bit because we don't need all that stock on the head of the bolt. Uh, and just, I can put this back in my, uh, back in my jig or my die or whatever you want to call it. Um, now the way this is, is this screws into the jig this way. So when I cut this on the lathe, uh, it won't be loosening up. It's just going to tighten, you know, it'll stay tight. Uh, so the way, you know, the way that it spins. So I'll be able to cut this, no problem. Thin that down and then tap it with a five millimeter. Uh, and I got to go buy a new five millimeter tap because my old one is just too, um, it, it's basically, it's, it's a cheap cobalt, right? Uh, so I got to go get a nice one, probably in Milwaukee or something and, uh, get that tapped and that's it. That's the eccentric center, uh, the eccentric, uh, spacer right there. That's all it takes to make one. And you can do this with any size bolt, any size screw, uh, whatever way you want to do it. But this basically is the way to go about building one. And as you can see, there's no damage, as I expected, to the outside of the bolt. Right? So you got a little bit of peak right there where it kind of popped out. But, you know, for doing it by hand without any uh, measurements, just kind of freehanding it, I think it turned out perfect came out exactly the way I wanted it to. So I'll tap it. I'll put a uh, five millimeter screw in there and voila, there you go. So that's how to make an eccentric spacer. Peace.